love the channel and find it useful in becoming a happy retiree. Subscribe today. I want to talk about the billions of dollars coming back into the United States. What, what's Eli Lilly doing with the $2 billion they're bringing back? What's Rockwell Automation doing with the $2.4 billion they're bringing back? How about United Technologies bringing back $3.8 billion? Sempra bringing back $4 billion. What are they doing with that money? We're going to discuss this. So what, are, what is Eli, what are these companies doing with all this repatriated cash? Remember, this is part of the tax bill. It doesn't get a lot of press. The new rules for U.S. companies, they have to pay, they pay a tax of between 8 and 15.5% on their overseas earnings. Anything they've made and left over there since 1987, if the cash is still there over, offshore. After they make the one-time payment, they can bring that money back uh, without paying additional taxes on it. Under the old law, they would have owed a top rate of 35% when bringing foreign profits back here to the United States. So what are they going to do? We, we could see about 500 grand, billion coming back to the U.S. Eli Lilly, they're going to bring back $2 billion and they're going to pay down $2 billion worth of debt. Rockwell Automation, $2.4 billion. They've already brought back a, a billion and they're going to do share repurchases. Biogen, they're looking to buy other companies. Semper Energy, bringing back $4 billion, paying down debt, strengthening their balance sheet. Uh, Pfizer, $24 billion. Cisco, $67 billion. So they're paying down debt. They're buying other companies. They're paying taxes. They're bringing back share, or they're, they're buying back shares, and they're increasing dividends. I don't know. That all sounds like good news for investors. I like it. We're going to talk more about that next week here. Hi, I'm Wes Moss, and thanks for taking a minute to hear about what's so different about my new book, you can retire sooner than you think. So unlike other retirement books, this book will give you a step-by-step -step guide, whether in your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, to learn from what these successful and happy retirees did to get there. I hope you enjoy the book, but more importantly, I know that it'll help you retire sooner than you think.